Our missing tiles have finally come. I can't tell you how glad we are that these have arrived and after a quick inspection they've all come and they're all in perfect condition. We've been waiting for this delivery for what is it now, about three, maybe four weeks? Yeah, I think four weeks. It should have been something that was actually available to be dispatched within a couple of days from this supplier, but there was some unknown delay. <laughs> so we've stayed patient and yeah, finally they've arrived. So if you're not sure what we're talking about because you either are a new subscriber or you missed the video where we were doing the roof tiles, let me show you. So as you can see up here, this is the edge of our roof tiles. Where's my finger there? So as you can see, we're kind of missing spaces here all the way along. And the reason for that is because this roof tile system that we have, they come with like nicely finished half tiles for the edge so you don't have to cut one. And then on the ends, you have a end tile so you don't have to see the overlapped parts of the tile or the parts with the grooves in. So everything's got a nice crisp finish but they're not used very commonly here, so we had to get them specially ordered. Now we've got them, so we can finally get the tile battens cut down, get these tiles replaced, and then we'll have a nice finish to the edge of the roof. Okay, that's one side down and it's looking good. Just before we lose the light for the day and we carry on with the other side, just wanna show you the different tiles and the reason why we got these, because it's kind of hard to know why without visually showing you. Right, so here we are on the left side. So you can see we have these half tiles. What that means now is, first of all, we didn't have to cut a normal tile in half to get that edge. It also means instead of having a, a slice down the middle of this, which would have been really difficult, We've then got the nice flat finish that's the same as on the overlaps. Then on these left-hand side finishing tiles, ordinarily you would have on the left side the grooves that the overlap slots into, whereas now again we've got the nice smooth edge as well as a dead straight edge on the tile. They're a little bit more expensive, so it's boosted the budget up a little bit because they're not the cheapest of tiles. However, for us it's well, well worth it because now... Are you ready for this? Go on, hit me. <laughs> Now we've got a crisp, crisp line. <laughs> Enjoy that. Not as much as you. <laughs> if you're watching in North America, do you even know the song that I'm referencing here? It's just dawned on me that although it was a massive hit in the UK in the 80s, I think, maybe it just never even made it across the pond. like I'm making the world's most gourmet fat ball for the birds because I couldn't actually find any plain uh, peanuts. So they've got walnuts, almonds and linseeds. Oh, and raisins and they will be getting some oats as well.
now all we need is some little birds to come along, fatten them up. I can hear them, they're around. Come cuckoo, down. cuckoo. <laughs> we don't want pigeons, do we? <laughs> I'll take what we can get at this stage. Right, so I've just finished making a little jig that's gonna help me putting the ridge tiles down, or hopefully help me. So what we'll do is we've got this jig. These two are running parallel, kind of just over the width of the ridge tile. We've marked lines on the inside, the depth we want our mortar. So then in theory, I can put this down. We'll get a level on here. If that's level, then I know that this is at the center point of the ridge so we know we're in the right place. I can then lay mortar down all the way along the inside, sort of smooth it off roughly up to this line, same on the opposite side. And then I can slip my ridge tile in, bed it down, and yeah, hopefully that's gonna contain most of the mortar from the insides and not have too much slip out. Can then move it along and obviously it's gonna help keep the line as well. Do you mind grabbing me some cushions? The tush feeling it. The tush is feeling it. Sitting on this is not pleasant. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> it's called looking underneath the jig. And what did you see? I'm just trying to see if you can see these areas here. The tile obviously comes lower. I'm just trying to see if it's smushing out, but it's actually holding its own. Good. We used a bit of a drier mortar mix for that purpose, basically, because I don't want it slopping and dribbling everywhere down the roof. So we've done a three to one mix of sand to cement. We've done two builder sand, one sharp sand, one cement. And yeah, I mean, obviously I've not put a tile on yet, but it's easy enough to work. I'm smoothing it off to that line that we showed you before on the jig. Once I've done the other side here, it's just a case of getting a ridge tile on. I'm hoping it's all alright and level. I'd say with those skills you could do cake decoration. Right, well, I'm not cake decorating. I'm a manly man. I'm building a roof. We are a little bit up against it trying to get this ridge finished today. So Ricky seems to be hitting his stride quite nicely and making good progress. So I've come back up to the house to mix the next load of mortar and happily I've got a couple of colleagues here to help me.
despite my best efforts yesterday, could not get all of it done. It was just, yeah, a bit too warm. I was having to run around, try and get everything brushed down and pointed properly on the one end I'd started. Yeah, so it just means I've got to come back to it today, but we've only got two more wrist tiles left to do and then a third one, which is gonna be a measure and cut job. So hopefully it's not gonna to take too long. Got a half batch of mortar mixed up. And yeah, let's get on with it. You can do it! <laughs> the last tile now so we need to chop this one down and we have heard that they're notoriously difficult to chop so hopefully it all goes smoothly we've got three spares so we can have three failed attempts but hopefully the first one will work well that's one down already <laughs> i'm grateful we've got spares yeah one thing i hadn't realized it creates one crisp edge and one rough edge well i've done it the wrong way around so the rough edge is cutting into the good part we want to keep so yeah, one down, draw up another one. Hopefully we'll get it right this time. Well, not too shabby, pretty neat. That looks really good actually. Need to get it up quick because the mortar is going off. Pronto. Rapido. <laughs> There we go, one more job ticked off the list and one step closer to being weather tight. By the time this video comes out, you'll have already had your Christmas, but for us it's Christmas in two days. So we're gonna get all cleaned up here because it's a bit of a mess. And I guess we'll start winding down, getting ready for Christmas. Winding down. Oh, how long are you sitting on that one for? <laughs> well, hope you've all had a lovely Christmas and I guess we'll see you in the new year. Happy new year. Happy new year.